J Day people, this is Sharpino here. Welcome you guys to episode number 44 of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Shiny Lock. If you guys are excited for today's episode and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure you hit the like button down below for us because as always your support is great appreciated. In the last episode, you guys, we did defeat Giovanni with great ease thanks to our newest member of the team, Blossom Zaliligan. However, we also got the Keystone to Mega Revolt, but not at the cost of a Mega Alakazam having Focus Blast to take off one of my lives of Tyranta, which fucking sucks, because Alakazam should learn Focus Blast by level up, but they gave it to him anyways. So fuck. So now all of our Pokemon except Blossoms is on one life. So if you die, you're gone. Let's go and have a look at our team that we have with us today. We got Electrox the Lantern, Firefly the Volcarona, Reptile the Taranta, Blossoms the Ligant, and Sensei the Oranguru, followed by Optimus the Metagross. Beto. Okay, let's go ahead and get this episode started. I see another... I see two of them I thought I saw too. What's with pedalils everywhere, okay? I get it. Pedalil. You know, everyone loves you, I get it. But. We have enough of you. We got one of you, you destroyed Giovanni, and we're good. What is this over here? What is this? A purple neck. Oh, that's to make it ghost type. When I got hurt out here, this probe pass right here carried me all the way to your town. Wow, what a very good probe pass. Good job, probe pass. A lot of people say shit about you, but you did a good job, so congrats. Alright, so let's go ahead and head up here, see where, what exactly is up here. Because, like, I've never even did this on Sun and Moon, so I have no idea what to expect. Alright, so we've got another purple nectar. We have vines, we have bushes. What can we encounter in here? A blue flip baby. I want the red one. If I'm gonna get a shiny, I would run a red or blue. White and actually, you know what? To be fair, white would actually look pretty nice. Honestly, yellow is probably the least favorite one of mine. But honestly, red, blue, and white. Oh, America. American colors, Australian colors, because we have the same colors. Oh, overheat. That actually isn't bad. We could teach that to Volcarona instead of uh, Flame Charge, but I think we'll be okay with that. Seriously, the Petalils, they're everywhere. <sighs> Excuse me. Okay, so we're just going to continue making our way around here. Wow, there's a lot more to do around here. Good God. Well, first off, let's go over here. And get all these things over here. So, alright, that's a dead end. So, we'll go back down. And I think there's an item over here. Ah, that's the item. It's a power herb. Okay. Um, now, we'll make our way back over. Because now we can actually go inside that cave. I've never actually done, like, most of the post story. Like, most of the games, once I finish it, like, I'm the kind of guy that will put it down. So, that's it. Game done. Thanks for playing. See you next time. Except in this situation, Resolution Cave. Oh. Okay, let's jump on our Mudsdale. Giddy up, boy. Uh, what can we encounter in here? Gold bats. I thought you were going to tell me I could find something exciting in here. Not a gold bat. I mean, don't get me wrong, gold bat... It's a badass on Team Flair. Okay, that's a trainer. What's over here? Another trainer. Swap to Tauros. What's this? Earthquake? Yo, we're teaching Earthquake right now. Yo. Orangri can learn Earthquake? Dude, what the fuck? Why can he learn Earthquake? Um... 
We'll get rid of Rock Slide because if we go up against Dark type, we want to have Hammer on. But yo, we got Earthquake. Let's go. That's awesome. Earthquake, sign me up. Let's actually go ahead and put it to use. Optimus, if you will. Let's go ahead and take on this trainer that's over here. Hey, lady. You look like you want to battle. Oh, she does. She wants to battle, and I am eager and waiting. Let's do this. It's a Benectra. Perfect. Perfect. What better Pokemon to test out my newly learned earthquake? Metal. Hit it with an earthquake. Down goes that man there, because he don't like the ground type move. Alright, that is awesome. Earthquake, yo. So happy we found that. What's this over here? Is there something else? Oh, there's more. Oh! Terrain Extender. Okay, that's, that's a new one. What is a Terrain Extender? An item to be held by a Pokemon, it extends the duration of a terrain caused by the holder's move or ability. So, with Tapu Bulu, and all the Tapus basically, um, it can make the terrain last longer. Okay. Drudagon? You can find Drudagons in here? Hey, now I know where to shiny hunt for one. Haha. -ha. Do you like me some Drydigon? Although I won't lie to you guys, the Drydigon's shiny it looks pretty ugly, not gonna lie. Um, I do like the original. See, that's the thing, alright? A lot of the dragon shinies actually look better as the original. Then you get the shiny and it's like, ugh, no, why would you want to make them shiny? And we have a hiker who's hiding behind rocks to make you think, oh, there's something hidden behind there. And it's like, well, there is actually. It's this loser. And it's like, come on, dude. I'm trying to find hidden items, not hidden douchebags. Hello, Lindog Trio. I guessed it. Meta. All right, Metagross. Let's hit him up with that earthquake, boy. Boof. Yeah, buddy. Rest in peace, Stacy, the Lowland Dog Trio. I remember you. I, I don't think I haven't got my fallen shinies. I have not forgotten about my fallen shinies. So we have. Let, let, let's let's run through the. Sh okay, why am I staying in a mud there? I will never know. Let's go ahead and swap over to blossoms. There you are, blossom. So. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so let's let's talk about the fallen shinies that we have. We have. What goes for a heavy slam on What? In what universe does that make sense? Goes for a steel type move on the steel type. Dude, you are one weird guy. Mega kick. Take an energy ball for your troubles. And Blossom is now level 72. What's this item? Stardust. More money! Can't wait to go to the shops next time. What is down here? What is this place? Okay, you can find more Pokemon down here, which I think is cool. But what actually is down here? More gold bats! Fuck off! I don't want to find no gold bats! Gold bats can suck a chode for all I care! Just go away! But, I like to look around because we could look at possible shiny targets next. What's this? Zygarde? Is there anything else around here? There's Zygarde here?
First off, what's this item? Adrenaline ore. Okay. Now, I do know that Zygarde is shiny locked in this game. So I do know you can't actually shiny hunt in for Zygarde in this game. I do know that much. Um, I was actually watching someone the other day. They um, they lifted the ban, or they, they hacked into the game, and they took the shiny lock off the Zygarde, and he actually soft reset for a shiny Zygarde. And it just threw everyone off so much. It's like, hang on. You can't have a shiny Zygarde. What the fuck is going on here? And it just fucked with people so good. I was just looking at it. I was like, yo, this guy's a genius. Because he fucked with everyone in the comment section. Because everyone's like, yo, what the fuck? How do you get a shiny Zygarde? I thought it was shiny locked. Oh, I'll try and do it. Oh, about 10,000 soft resets. Still no shiny Zygarde. It's like, dude, you can't get a shiny Zygarde. So, while we're here, we might as well capture the Zygarde. I mean, he's just sitting there doing nothing at the moment. We're just going around having a look around these areas over here because there seems to be all these rare items. And I just randomly pressed A into a big nugget. Okay, cool. So we've seen Drodagon, Golbat, Alolan, Doug Trios, and more Golbats. We we run away. We we run away. Okay. The question is, what levels is Zygarde? Okay, so we're here. Let's go ahead and swap over to a Pokemon that should be better equipped to fight against it. Let's try Blossoms. We'll go ahead and heal it so it's at maximum health. There we go. Let's check out Zygarde. The legendary Missy from X to Y. Level 60. Okay, so level 60. Alright. Let's go for an energy bullet. Let's see how much damage it does to a Zygarde. Not even half. Dragon Breath does nothing. Alright, we'll go for another energy ball and then we'll put it to sleep and then we'll try to catch it. Ooh, wow, that did a lot of damage. An intimidating glare. And we're paralyzed. Alright, let's hit it with the sleep powder. Lands Wraith. That's a ground type move, so we should be okay. Yeah, we ate that up. We get paralyzed though! <laughs> Come on, dude! Still paralyzed! Jesus Christ! Three turns of paralysis! Are we serious? Seriously, can't get over that, guys. Three turns of paralysis. I'm just trying to learn a sleep powder on this bitch. Sleep powder! Misses. Ah! Oh! Hacks is clearly going against me, okay, guys? Hat is clearly going against me. We finally landed. Thank you. God damn. Luxury ball, go! God damn Zygarde, come on dude. And he wakes up. Go back to sleep. I have to upgrade to an Ultra Ball for this bad boy because Luxury doesn't seem to be taking a liking to him. So let's go for an Ultra Ball. Dude, what the hell? Zygarde! And he wakes up after one turn of sleep. Isn't that fucking great? And I get paralyzed again! 
Stop it, you bitch! Safeguard. guys, I give up. So I got clear doesn't want to get caught, so you know what? If you don't want to get caught, fine. I'll kill you. If you don't want to get caught, fine. I'll just kill you. That's just how I am. Good. Now go away. Get a Max Repel going, because I don't want to run to any Pokemon. There we go. We also got to heal up a Pokemon. Clearly this guy doesn't want to play ball, so you know what? Fine. I don't have to catch you. I mean, I wanted to catch you, but clearly, you just wanted to be a big dick. And just be like, yeah, you can't catch me. I'm like, okay, fine. You want to be caught? Fine. I'll leave you alone. Fuck. I don't have to have you. I mean, I'd like to have you, but you're like, no, you can't have me. I'm like, okay, fine. Okay, Taurus, we get it. You don't like the terrain. Let's see what this veteran has over here to do. And just walk right past her. Okay. A power weight. Another EV training item. Yeah, fuck it. I'm not going to take on her. I don't care. That that battle has really, 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 what am I, losing? It really withered me down. And I'm just, I'm just over it. I'm just really over it at this point. I'll go ahead and swap over. Another repel. Up oh, item. A pallet. So this is where you find all the EV items. I'm guessing because we've found three so far, and I know there's there's six in total. But it looks like we've done everything we need to do to come here. So now we'll go over to the other side over here, and that's an item. Is this another Alolan Radicate? It is. You fat allergic. Mofo, get out of my way! Reptire is here! He does not look pleased with your efforts to try to stop us. So go away! Go away. So, question for today, considering that we are doing post story over here, what has been one of your favorite games that had actually a good post story? Um, Black and Black and White 2 actually had a good post story. I was a rising star, but then I became a veteran. Hey buddy, you are a veteran now. Okay, cool. A skarmory. It's a skarmory, people. It's a skarmory.
Now, I'm not going to go for Stone Edge because the physical defense is too damn high. Goes for a slash. Gets a crit too. I'll go for the special attacking side of things because your special defense is pitiful. Pitiful. Goes for things that are very bad against Ste uh, Rock Dark type. Okay, buddy, you just keep being you. Down goes the Skarmor Ray. Maybe if you had Iron Head, I might be just a little bit scared, but he didn't. He was just like, yeah, I'm gonna slash and night slash you. And I'm like, okay, sure, whatever. Electivire. You could have Cross Chop. I ain't taking any chances on that. I thought Alakazam wouldn't have the Flying type, but he surprised me. So, considering that Electivire does then Cross Chop my level up, I ain't taking any chances, okay? I'm not taking chances. Alright, let's go for an Earthquake! Our speed's with Fire Punch! Earthquake! Earthquake! Down goes the Electivire! Araquinid! Um, oh, we'll, we'll stay on Araquinid! Let's go for a Zen Head Butt. Woo! Lunge! The Sandstorm rips and tears! Duh! Funny how Araquanid looks a bit like Metagross because they both they have the same kind of look. You know, they're on four legs, or in this case, she, he's on six, but <laughs> not exactly like they're related or anything like that. But still, it's just it's just a funny thought. All right, so oh, hello, we have the looker and we have someone else, another character. So this is Pony Island. I can tell that the only the best trainers in all the world gather here. Nature and Pokemon are people surviving together in their own harsh way. That's no reason to come here and train, Chief. You're supposed to be on vacation. I would like to make it clear that I, this, I think this is a mistake. Hmm? You. You're the trainer I gave the Thunderstone to on the color Island, correct? Oh, it's Adam. Oh, it's a chick. Well then. <laughs> you must be the first champion of Alola. My name is Annabelle, and I'm part of the International Police. It is a pleasure to meet you. The champion? You always impress me, Chief. Is there anything you don't know? I plan to train at the Battle Tree, so as the as to be able to compete any assignment as a member of the International Police. Until we meet again. It was good to run into you, Champion. Sadly, I only have this item called a red card. Please keep it as a memento of this encounter. Okay, look, oh, well, I mean, you didn't have to do that, but thank you. The red card forcefully switches any Pokemon that lands an attack on the Pokemon holding it. But once it's activated, the item itself is lost. <sighs> I'll never I'll never hear the end of it from Nanu if I let anyone have if I let anything happen to the chief. My new partner isn't very strong, but it looks like I have to go to the battle tree regardless. But only as a bodyguard, of course. Well then, Alola. Yeah, we'll keep that repel going. I don't know what I'm gonna run into over here. Okay, first off I see a TM up there, which has my interest. We have another star piece, so we're going to get some more money. Honestly, I cannot wait to cash in. I'll be there with you guys, and I'll cash in and be like, Guys! We're cashing it in! Let's go! Dark Pulse. We have a tourist and a thug. An executor, and a lot of the executor I have met. This sightseer with a tiny executor has been pestering me non-stop. Ah, because you're going to have a matchup with a normal executor, and then a little old executor. Oh, he looks nervous. Wow, I mean, when you're looking at side by side, it's a whole new experience, guys. I'll tell you what, it is a definitely a new experience. And here's the best part. These two Pokemon are the best type of matchup for this game. Let me explain to you guys why. One, because this is quad weak to ice, and two, this is quad weak to sight to bug. So executor's gone. <laughs> this is kind of funny that we had the right Pokemon for this. And then we go for Ice Beam. Yeah. 
and they both fall in one move or less. Sorry guys, I don't know what to say. Alright, so we got Dark Pulse, that's a pretty good TM. What's up here, anything else? Okay, there's nothing there. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and beat down the... Get this Comet Shard over here. Another item? It's Stardust. Ah, trainers. Is this where... Whoa, we're dodging those. Let's go. What are you? Do you know? What are Pokemon? Do you know? Uh, yeah, they're cool things, you know. Cool creatures, if you will. <coughs> A Jellicent. Oh, it's the female one. If anyone was male, I like the male ones better. Tyranitar. Here comes the Sandstream! Alright, let's go for a little pee back. Woo! Jealous is one of my favorite Gen 5 Pokemon. Honestly, it's a cool ghost type, and it's very bulky. It's actually pretty goddamn good. I will say that much. In comes the Frostlass. Alright, let's go for a payback on you. Blizzard. That should do not too much. And Payback should get the absolute kill on you! Excuse me. Ooh. Pyro. The female version. Okay, cool. Let's go for a big old Stone Edge. Fire Blast. Are you trying to burn me that much? Well, it didn't work. Stone Edge. Beat that veteran, let's go. So how do we get across? Ah through this long way. A guard spec. Nimbly wall. Ah, a fishing spot over here. I'll find out what that is later. But it looks like we got quite a few trains to take on here. So you know what? We'll wrap this episode right here. And in the next episode, we'll go ahead and venture in and see what else is there to do here. So I will say to you guys, thank you very much for enjoying today's episode. If you guys did enjoy today's episode, make sure you hit the like button down below. Because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. And in the next episode, we will continue venturing into this post story stuff. And see what is else is there to do around here. So until the next time I see you guys, stay safe, stay sharp. And I'll catch you guys all next time. Later!